to introduce yourself. Okay, my name is Clarin. Uh, from Manwood. I'm currently working in uh, Atos company as a test engineer, manual tester. Uh, and I uh, have completed my BCA in uh, St. Agnes College, Mangalore University. I have technical knowledge in Java uh, as well as uh, manual testing and also Selenium and uh, and also SQL. And uh, should I explain uh, regarding my project? Yes, you can do that. Okay, regarding my project, my project is about BMW. Uh, it's like... Um, uh, BMW project is uh, where we can uh, uh, it helps customers to uh, customers to uh, customers to uh, like to purchase uh, items from their website. So there are many modules under the BMW website, such as uh, create modules, select modules, search modules. So this uh, this type of modules where I work, I do the regression testing, retesting, and functional testing over this uh, uh, BMW project. Uh, yeah, that's all about me. Okay. Okay. So, what is so inheritance and explain all types of inheritance? Okay. Inheritance is inheriting the property of one class to another class. There are four types of inheritance. One is single level inheritance, multi level inheritance, multiple level inheritance, hierarchical level inheritance, and hybrid level inheritance. So, single level inheritance means inheriting the one class property to another class properties for single level inheritance. Multi level inheritance is inheriting the property of one class to another class, and from that class to another class is called multi level. And multiple inheritance is one uh, the sub uh, the single subclass inherit the property of multiple. Uh, super classes like parent class is known as uh, multiple level inheritance and hierarchical inheritance is uh, multiple um, multiple subclass inheriting the property of one super class is known as hierarchical level inheritance and hybrid level inheritance is a combination of single level multiple level and hierarchical level inheritance okay so what is super keyword and super calling statement Okay, super keyword is used in uh, concept of method overriding. So super calling, uh, super keyword when we use is whenever we have, uh, whenever there is an, uh, uh, we want to call an uh, uh, two methods together and it is not possible, we use a super keyword and super calling statement is used to call uh, one constructor uh, from, uh, super calling statement is used to call one constructor, parent constructor from child constructor. This is super calling statement. And the super calling statement are two types. One is parameterized super calling statement and non-parameterized super calling statement. Parameterized super calling statement uh, we call in implicit way and non-parameterized super calling statement we call in both implicit and explicit way. Implicit way means no need of writing the super keyword. Explicit way means we have to write the super keyword. Okay. So what is this keyword and this calling statement? This keyword, this keyword is user to uh, uh, is user to allocate the uh, allocate the value of local variable to a global variable. We use the this keyword, and this calling statement is user to call uh, call the two uh, two calling uh, like one constructor uh, uh, one constructor. Uh, this calling statement is user to call both the constructor parent con style constructor and super uh, constructor together uh, in the same classes. When uh, so we use this calling statement. Okay, what is scanner? Okay, scanner is an uh, one of the predefined class in Java. Scanner class by default it is a final class. Scanner class is a one of the class which accepts the human input at the runtime. So there are different methods present in the scanner class, such as nest int, nest byte, nest short, nest double. Uh, uh, nest boolean. These are the methods present in the scanner class. So to call the scanner, we write as scanner s one is equal to new scanner system dot in, where system is a method and in is a uh, system is a class and method is uh, in is a method. So system dot in we write because to call the constructor which is present under the scanner. Okay. Okay then. Okay, write a program to check if uh, your name is palindrome or not. Oh, should I share my screen? Yes, share your screen. So are you able to see my screen? Yes, I am able to see your screen. Palindrome, right? Yes, palindrome.
I asked your name. Oh, my name, right? Yes, no, your name. Okay, my name. Okay. So now I will do the condition. Please, I will check whether my name. Is... Your voice is not audible. Now I am audible. Now you are audible. Okay, sorry. Now I will check whether it is get it is matching to my my object. So in, if input dot equals to output. Again, it's I'm... not audible. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Now, now, is it audible? Can you increase your volume? Now, is it audible? Now it's okay. I guess it's a uh, headphone. Right? I'll explain here. If it is true, then it will be silent wrong. Yeah. If it is not. I think uh, there is some headphone or issue that's preventing at one time. I'll remove, now I'll remove the headphone. Is it audible now? Now it's audible. Okay, sorry, oh, I guess it is headphone problem. Mm -hmm. It's not a valiant wrong. So, input I've given is my name, output input is minus one. Output I've given is okay. Yeah, my name is not a valiant wrong. Okay. Okay, write a program to display to display the world is full of beautiful people without any spaces. Okay. Oh, I have to remove the spaces. What mm -hmm. is full of beautiful people? Okay. Uh, um okay um just a minute uh, this out this out name dot uh um name dot to remove the rest, uh, name dot Name dot name dot yeah. Mm, okay, fine. Mm, okay, write a program of to display the linked list. Write a program to display? Link list. Link list? Yes. Link list. I'm not sure about this program. Link list. Link list. Link list. Link list. Link list. No, I'm sorry. I don't remember link list program. Okay. Mm. Write a program on switch case where in each of the cases perform arithmetic operations case 1 addition, case 2 subtraction, case 3 multiplication, case 4 division and take the values uh, two val values of the variable A and B using scanner class. Okay.
A is equal to this is equal to a for function one h of a h of a So, integral of a, integral of p, so, so this p plus p. Switch. Um, and the rest one is good in the value of a into the value of b or uh, so switch case one case two case three case four mm -hmm. so Bit confused over here. A put to one in switch switch bracket one instead of a. So, yeah, yeah, we have to give the case the sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, what is typecasting and explain the typecasting? Typecasting is converting one type into another type. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. 
टाइपकास्टिंग इज कन्वर्टिंग वन टाइप इन टू अनदर टाइप टाइपकास्टिंग आर टू टाइप वन इज प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग एंड प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग एंड क्लास टाइप कास्टिंग सो प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग इज कन्वर्टिंग वन डेटा टाइप इन टू अनदर डेटा टाइप इज कॉल्ड प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग इन प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग देर आर टू टाइप वन इज नैरोइंग एंड वाइडनिंग एंड क्लास टाइप कास्टिंग इज कन्वर्टिंग वन ऑब्जेक्ट टू अनदर टाइप इज नॉन एज क्लास टाइप कास्टिंग क्लास टाइप कास्टिंग इज टू टाइप अप कास्टिंग एंड डाउन कास्टिंग इन प्रिमेटिव टाइप कास्टिंग कन्वर्टिंग द बिग डेटा टाइप इन टू कन्वर्टिंग बिगर डेटा टाइप इन टू स्मॉलर डेटा टाइप इज uh narrowing and widening is converting small data type into big data type is called as widening and upcasting is converting a super uh, subclass into super class is called uh, called, called as upcasting and downcasting converting the subclass super class into subclass is called as uh, uh downcasting okay mm, so what is a uh, thread dot sleep thread dot sleep makes the specific code to sleep uh, uh, like if you don't want to Uh, it will make the code spe uh, sleep for specific time like if you give thread dot sleep uh, of 1000 it will make to uh, makes a uh, code to sleep specific time 1000 uh, seconds of time it will make the code to sleep code to sleep okay so what is exceptional handling exception handling okay exception handling are two types one is uh, exception handling we can handle by using try and catch block so it is try keyword and catch keyword so um, uh, whenever we get an exception we have to write inside the try and handle inside the catch block so when uh, if when we write both try and catch block if the exception is coming then try block will not execute but the catch block will execute but if the exception is not if coming if it is not coming then try block will execute but the catch block will not execute this is an exception handling also mm -hmm. okay clearing thank you you need to practice this programming once again just avoid such a silly silly things yeah yeah, yeah sure many sure theoretical sure. answers you have answered correctly and you can you still have the caliber you can get better jobs you watch okay. mock videos and give mock interviews yeah sure It's sure ishan really yeah yeah i'll do that okay thank, thank you. you for your time ishan okay thank you thank you yeah bye